Hi, Heike. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. This is Christine Struminski, and I am one of the jurors here at the PPA International Photographic Competition that's going on in Atlanta. I want to thank you for entering, as photographic competition is a great way to take your photography to the next level. Today I'm here to talk to you about your image called Gotcha. Great title. Unfortunately, your image did not merit at this year's competition, so I'd like to talk to you about some suggestions on how it might be improved or suggestions for similar situations and working with uh, similar subjects in the future. Do think you had a great title, and I personally think title is a very important part of the whole package. Your title can often add points and effect to your image and presentation, so a good title is a very wise move. If you have trouble picking out titles, make sure you show your images to friends or think about um, what's actually in the image as being part of the title. I know that uh, the gotcha effect here with the peekaboo through the leaves really works for me. Some of the points I'd like to offer as improvements are the following. One of the detractants from your image is this area down here where we have the base of either what seems to be a chair, a flower pot, some sort of um, item with legs on it. My eye is drawn there because it's a dark area that's competing with all this light area at the bottom of the image. It may not seem substantial when you first present the image and you certainly needed room on this side to create that atmosphere. I think you handled that well, but that dark area being there is totally pulling your eye aside and away from the subject matter. So think about either um, by retouching, enhancement, or changing the scene a little bit, or moving the item out of the way when you start photographing. Those are all ways that you can deal with some detracting elements. Sometimes it's not a matter of being able to move them out, and you can uh, work with it in retouching. And in that case, I would probably tone down this floor just a hint, more to this level, so it blends together and becomes um, totally nondescript, and all your attention would be focused on the face. I want to have you consider uh, watching your sharpness and focus. Uh, if your sharpness is slightly off on your image capture, you do want to be careful about over sharpening with, with Photoshop techniques. Just watch for a careful balance between something that's not quite sharp and over sharp. You definitely want to have more detail in this area here because that's where the attention really is, on the eyes, on the face. Oftentimes with animal photographs, their heads are shaped differently than people's faces, so it is a little bit tricky to try to get the focus on the right plane. Sometimes it falls toward their nose rather than their eyes, or vice versa. So you'll want to watch for that as you're continuing to photograph. Another thing I notice is that we don't have a lot of light in the eyes. Light in the eyes will usually be told in a couple of different ways. One is certainly by catch lights, which I don't really see catch lights here in the cat's eyes. I see a little tiny bit of a glow here, but it would be helpful to get a little more of a glow to get dimension in that in the cat's eyes. One of the ways you can do that is by adding a little bit of a highlight toward the lower area of the eyes in retouching. And in this case, I would drop it right about here, right about here, and softly blend it so that it becomes nondescript. So just pick one of the colors in this area and go probably a shade or two lighter to kind of pencil in a little bit of color and then blur it. And that'll give you a nice little sort of crescent moon glow, which will richen the eyes without having to go in and, and add reflectors to your situation, which is probably not possible with a cat. You also want to look for your front details here of the grass. This is an aloe plant that it's kind of running through. Depending on what situation you have, you might want to find something a little bit more uh, playful so that there'd be more of a peaking atmosphere for the cat to look through. This is a little bit sparse and limits sort of the little prowl that the cat is on. Well, I want to tell you that you did a nice job with picking a, a nice subject, working with it. And if you are entering animals in the future, I would really look forward to seeing them, as I personally am a big animal photographer. So good luck with your future entries, and we hope to see you perhaps at Imaging USA, which will be held in Atlanta in January. Be sure to stop by one of our mentor booths, and you can speak to us in person. Thanks again, and good luck on all your future entries.